It's been more than two months since destructive tornadoes swept through Benton County. Now with school starting in Rogers next week, the district is rolling out a temporary solution after one campus took on a lot of damage. Five News reporter Lauren Spencer learned all about the mobile classrooms that hundreds of middle schoolers will learn in this fall. Ooh, I'm nervous. He's nervous. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm confident that he's going to have a good year. He seems very nervous. These parents say they're feeling all the different emotions with their kids starting middle school. First of all, they're going to a new school in not exactly a building. Well, second of all, it's like, oh, we had a tornado. Greer Lingle Middle School was the most damaged out of around 10 buildings in the district by the Memorial Day weekend tornadoes. The roof uh, areas of that were completely torn off. The HVAC unit, those were gone. Had damage to all the floors, especially the gym where the water had come in. So where will those 700 students go? The district is installing 44 mobile classrooms. Superintendent Jeff Perry says these facilities aren't really much different. It's actually bigger than some classrooms. They're going to have a smart panel in them. They're going to have water in them. They're going to have, most of them actually have the sewage in them. With this transition, it's a learning curve they're ready to face. They're a school district after all. It's going to be a solid program that has all of the extracurricular and all of the athletic options that you would have during a normal school year. Teacher Aaron Winberry says it's par for the course for not just these lingual students, but the whole district. Getting ready to welcome in children who don't know us, who have come out of a really traumatic time in their lives with this tornado. As these parents are staying positive with this different type of school and telling their kids to focus on the people, not the place. And he knows everybody is recovering from that. He sees it in our neighborhood. We have just talked a lot about how a school is not the building, a school is the people. In Rogers, covering news where you live, Lauren Spencer, 5 News. The district is still working to get these buildings up and running so students will be spread out in different temporary locations for the first two weeks.